Well, we've always regarded the London office as a curatable space. We like to support emerging artists. The UK has this fantastic talent coming out of design colleges, so in a sense it's all on our doorstep here. For the last 10 years we've been working with uh, artists and organisations to produce a programme where we commissioned young up-and-coming designers to create installations around the office responding to the spaces that we have using, this is the sort of twist to it, um, the waste that Bloomberg generates. I find amazing how open we are for art and now the environment and it's great that we are creating something together. Not only does it show that we can recycle our waste, be responsible companies, it also shows how to make Bloomberg a real example of what a sustainable green company can actually achieve. So it tied in as well with um, both philanthropy and our Be Green initiatives. One of the successes of this project is that we have worked and we've brought in different business departments who would never normally in a million years have any involvement with the projects that the company does. We were very surprised when we had the first contact saying that a bunch of artists wanted to come down and have a look at our rubbish. Going out to the Bloomberg Warehouse. In Silvertown was amazing. Well, it just give them a quick overview of what we do here and then take them through the waste streams that's on offer to them. Um, give them some samples, they have a play around. In the majority of our waste is keyboards, flat panels, they're all branded with Bloomberg, so we can't resell them. Some people want the screens. I remember some kind of really beautiful uh, wire metal displays. They always seem to want the cables, they'll always want coloured cables. We did actually have someone that wanted loads and loads of keyboards. Instead of sending them the whole keyboards, we just got a claw hammer and just ripped them out and just gave them the keys. And other people wanted the cardboard pallets. We had loads of artists come down, looking through the shelves, going, oh, I want this, I want that, I want that. And yeah, they rocked up and uh, had a look, uh, just like kids in a candy store. Yeah, we've got all the sort of creative juices flowing. <laughs> it's, it's interesting, obviously, when you sort of speak to them before and they're sort of wide-eyed, unsure of what they're going to be doing, but then when you sort of see what they've sort of set up, thinking, oh, that's what you've done with all that stuff I've sent you. We're with them almost all the way through from their concept designs which they show us, all the way through from approval through into the installation into the real art on, on the floors. They're the ones that the artists and we will go to if we want to ask whether something's appropriate, whether we can hang something from a ceiling, whether it would work if we put, from a health and safety perspective, something in place. A lot of it is done out of hours, uh, predominantly in the evenings and then on to the weekends. Yeah, we spent uh, four or five days here. It went a bit longer than we expected. But yeah, we, we slept actually here on the floor. It was really comfortable. It's sometimes a little bit of a surprise on a Monday morning when you arrive, which, which is a bit of a wow factor also. As much as we wanted the pieces to be completely individual and up to the artist to decide, we also wanted to try and make them viable for employees. That was the main idea, to create this kind of garden inspired by also the English garden, to create a kind of a landscape that can provide also a, a space uh, within this space that will give you a bit of, uh, say, calm and uh, place to, to rest. We asked Bloomberg employees to go onto a website and to draw, using a very simple illustrator program, to draw a flower. These were then printed out and clipped onto stems. We wanted the employees to be part of the project, not just as users, but also as makers. We knew that the newsroom, the news floor, was desperate for additional places to meet. So we met with the bureau chief and spoke to him and said, you know, what would be your ideal scenario if we could create some furniture? And what we wanted was something with chairs, for sure. Its nickname is the armadillo. Um, that's what people in a newsroom call it because it's got that kind of scaly texture to it. It's a wonderfully executed piece because it was a work environment. I wanted to create a piece that, that, that people could use and in a way seclude themselves from the office, but it, it, it would still need to be transparent. Also, this piece is really much a piece of furniture. It can be maybe moved around, you know, although it's quite big, but it can be maybe take apart in pieces and then move somewhere else in the building. I was invited to create an installation for these meeting rooms, which is um, a tree made out of plastic tubing. But my favourite art piece was the round table and chairs, and it was taken from 250 different pallets, cleaned, kiln dried, treated, cut. Kaleidoscopes in the kitchen. You see people looking at that all the time, particularly guests and visitors. That really is an, an, an eye-grabbing thing. 
they made some chairs out of the grey flat panels and the, you know, the emphasis on the buttons on the chairs to give it the sort of like the depth. And I think the ability to transform your workplace, not only to make it an aesthetic, inviting place, but also to kind of stimulate you to kind of approach things, your job in a slightly different way. And I think it's a project that has really captured people's imaginations. You know, I have heard rumours that the guys in the warehouse are fancying themselves as a bit of an Andy Warhol factory vibe going on down there. It, it has made me thinking I can make something better than that or I can make something similar but it's down to time. To us, it's rubbish, it's going out the door, it's going to be recycled, it's going to go back into reuse. This is something new, you know, it's, it's good, we like it. <laughs>